Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how I rig up sys cords for deep jigging. So that's fishing about 300 meters plus for species such as grey banded cod, harpuka, blue eye trevala, those kind of fish. In this case, I'm using a rather hefty 600 gram jig. This is a fisherman andaman. So what we're going to start with is our sys cord. So I've just got some YGK number 25. Um, some relatively thick large hooks, in this case some sharp fudakos and in this case I'm using some seven and a half owner solid rings. Okay so the first step is to align your hook with your jig. Ideally you want the hook point about a third to a half of the way down the jig so I'm gonna like it about there. From here I'm gonna measure out my sys cord so that's about right, allowing for some knots. Okay, so I'm going to start with reinforced ring hitch. This is a knot covered in my other videos. So I pass the solid ring through the sys cord, the sys cord then through the back of the solid ring. And poke it through the loop and pull tight. The next step is to grab the hook. I'm going to feed the two tags through the eye of the hook. Get ready for the knot. Now in this case, I'm going to use a modified uni knot. From here, loop around, create two wraps over the shank and the line. Here I'm going to coax two cords around. This just makes it a little neater as you pull up. And it keeps the tag in line with the hook. From here I'll pull down, tighten up. Okay, in this case I'm going to add some super glue. Now the main reason for this is when it's not under pressure. Can come loose a little bit. Generally, when it's under pressure, the strength of the knot should hold it. I'm just going to add a bit of super glue just to be sure. You don't need to add much, just add enough just to stop it slipping. here we can just uh, trim the tags and if we wish we can also wrap the shank with some thread and compare it against our jig you can see that the length is about right ready for us to rig up in this case if you have your assist cord length slightly different you can just loosen this knot up and tighten them up evenly Now if we wish we can also add a squid skirt to our assist hook, in this case a luminescent one. I'm going to take my solid ring, tie up my reinforced ring hitch. And thread squid skirt on. Now you'll have to do this before the hook in this case because the whole size for this size squid is quite small. If you've got a larger squid you can actually just squish it over the top of your solid ring down to your hook. In this case I'm going to thread it through first. Now I tip the threading it through. If you can't quite get it through easily just to use some assist cord or any cord really. Run it up the middle of the squid. Take two lines. Pass it through the hole.
Okay, so grab the hook. Again, from the hook point side, pass through. I'm going to do the uni knot again. Come around, shank and the loop twice. down, loop around to make it neat, and from here I can pull. Add some super glue. Now when you're adding super glue it helps to use the liquid stuff. This uh, should be liquid but it's kind of thickened up a bit on me a bit. There we go. Just to lock it in that little bit. From here we can pull the squid skirt down. So we just pull the squid skirt down the whole way. Over the art hook. And there we go, our completed squid skirt cyst hook for our heavy deep water jigs.